Welcome to my internet claim to fame! I'm gonna try till I die or run out of letters. Vampires and werewolves. They are a hot topic right now. Especially with the new Twilight movie coming out. Which is actually the last book split in two. Come to think about it, splitting the book in two is something anti-fans would like to do. But oh well. The Twilight Saga causes a lot of rage in people and people tend to vent that on the internet. Blogs like Mark Reads Twilight and Reasoning with Vampires got famous that way. I think I can top that. Internet claim to fame, Plan I. Mooney. You know, I've already done a rant and personally I'm not very fond of rage as an emotion. So let me start by telling you all that I love Twilight. No, seriously, I love Twilight. Mind you, I haven't read it, nor have I seen the movies, and doing so would be stupid since I don't fall under the demographic you see here. The demographic of people watching or reading Twilight are 10% insecure girls, 10% oblivious girls, 60% enraged men, and 20% trolls. In my opinion, most of the Twilight users shouldn't be near it and I'm not talking about the girls. What is happening for a good couple of years now is that people hear about Twilight, they get enraged, and then they spread the word. And people from our demographic hear about it, and they start buying the books and going to the cinema to see if it's all true. Which it is, and then they start spreading the word also why it has to die, thus continuing the cycle. They make two big mistakes. First, they spend money. So the people who made Twilight make more money than intended. And second, by spreading the word to not go see it, they leave people in their surroundings with two options. To go and to not go, which each have an equal opportunity. In the way human psyche works, if they didn't spread the word, the urge to go would be much lower, because one wouldn't know why it's interesting. And of course, then there are the people who are trolls. They laugh it off and see Twilight as just another brick in the wall. A couple of my friends are those trolls and they went to see the first movie with a couple of other people. They all had a bottle of vodka to do a drinking game. Take a sip whenever you have a facepalm moment. Now, I would never wish any harm to my friends, but let's just say justice was served when one of the guys had to go to the hospital at the skin of a killer scene eh, halfway through the movie. If you want to know why I love Twilight, my best example is that of Bob Chipman, also known as Movie Bob. He is an editor at The Escapist, mostly known for his weekly movie review Escape to the Movies. It's usually airing on a Friday, mind you. I love his reviews, I love how he likes to take things on at a different angle and I'd love to drink a beer with him to see if we can have a meaningful discussion. I do hope that when he sees this movie, he doesn't think I'm taking the piss at him because I also love the way he treats Twilight. Movie Bob's hate for Twilight is so deep that he went out of his way to review it and posted an extra review movie on the premiere night of New Moon. That was on a Wednesday. Now, let that sink in for a moment. Movie Bob didn't go out of his way to review movies like 4, Tron Legacy, District 9, Scott Pilgrim, Machete, or any movie he really loved. Yet, for Twilight, he makes an exception, only making the buzz bigger around that movie and achieving the exact opposite from what he wanted. The poor guy even read all the books in advance to the movies. That's around a thousand pages of a poorly written story and a dialogue about a whiny girl who thinks she can choose between two guys with no brains? How many showers did he have to take before he felt clean? No, 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 wait. Just don't answer that. To recap, I love how Twilight Sparkles rage all over the internet while well, they are just ranging on about some equivalent of porn. For decades there have been candlelight novels with more or less the same plot and men with a 2D character. You can't kill Twilight because it fills a need of some people. Now there is a legitimate reason to be scared about it, I mean the Twilight books teach entirely the wrong values. One should use Twilight as an indicator instead, 
start a discussion with everyone reading Twilight and tell them what you think. They might change their views. Then again, you can also be a troll and abuse every insecure girl indicated by a Twilight book. I hope my love for Twilight has made you rage a little and, you know, now make me famous!